What is going on everyone? This is Eric coming at you from just outside of Hartford, Connecticut. And today we are going to look at the draft pick swapping that would lead to the selection of Deshaun Goldson in the 2007 NFL Draft. Now this was a draft pick swap between the Indianapolis Colts and the San Francisco 49ers that saw Indy acquire a second round pick in exchange for a fourth and a future first rounder. How did this trade work out? Let's start with the Indianapolis Colts who, with the 42nd overall selection, would pick offensive tackle Tony Hugo. Now, Hugo was viewed as the left tackle of the future by the Colts, and the future would unfortunately come sooner than expected, as the previous starter suddenly retired in July. Now, he had a solid first two years in the league as a starting left tackle for the Colts, but by 2009, he was moved to a backup role, and he was waived after that one year as a backup. So, not a horrible pick, but... Not the best pick either. Now, how did the San Francisco 49ers do? So the 49ers got a fourth and a future first, and we're going to start with that fourth round pick in the 2007 draft, which was the 126th overall selection, which they would use to grab safety Deshaun Goldson. Now, Goldson was a backup for his first two years in the NFL, as he would record three passes defended, a forced fumble, and 30 tackles. But he would take over the starting free safety job by 2009, and he proved the 49ers' faith in him to be well-placed as it was a little on the fence around the NFL community. He would record four interceptions, six pass breakups, and 94 tackles, while also posting a career high in sacks with two and forced fumbles with three. Now, he did regress a little bit in 2010 as he was missing tackles during key points in games, but San Francisco stuck by him and he ended the campaign with 80 tackles, one interception, which he returned for a touchdown, six pass breakups, and a sack. Now, he decided to return to the Bay Area as a free agent, and he had a great year in 2011, ending the season with a career-high six interceptions, while also adding 67 tackles and nine passes defended. He became known as a hard-hitting safety during the season, just because of how good he was, and teams were afraid to throw him near him because he would crush whichever receiver was near him. Now, he recorded a crucial interception in the playoffs that helped San Francisco win their divisional round game against the Saints but they would fall in the NFC Championship game. Now, he had his best, the best season of his career in 2012, as he broke up a career-high 12 passes while also recording three interceptions and 69 tackles. He made nine tackles in Super Bowl 47, but the 49ers' comeback attempt did not go through, and they would lose. Now, he would walk after the Super Bowl season, but he was still a very good player for the 49ers, as he was a one-time first-team All-Pro selection and a two-time Pro Bowler. Great player to get in the fourth round. Now, they also got a future first-round pick in the 2008 draft. Now, that would become the 29th overall, but they would use it to select defensive end Kentuan Balmer. Now, Balmer struggled to adapt to the 49ers' 3-4 defensive system, which moved him from his natural position of defensive tackle to defensive end. Now, he was a backup his entire rookie season, recording only seven tackles. Now, in 2008, he would register 12 tackles across 11 games once more in a backup role before a shoulder injury cut his season short. Now, after the two disappointing seasons, the 49ers decided it was best to move on, so they traded him to the Seattle Seahawks in exchange for a 2011 sixth-round pick. This pick would become the 190th overall, and they would use it to select safety Colin Jones. Now, Jones would appear in 13 games as a rookie, recording six tackles in a backup special teams role. But he would be traded after only a single year to the Carolina Panthers in exchange for a 2014 seventh round pick. This seventh round pick would become the 243rd overall, and it would be used to select defensive tackle Caleb Ramsey. Now, Ramsey spent his entire rookie season on the physically unable to perform list in his second year on the practice squad before essentially retiring because he kind of realized he wasn't going to get a shot in the NFL. So still, I mean, the 49ers may have whipped on that first round pick, but they did good, real good with that fourth round pick. So how did the two secondary teams do? We'll start with the Seattle Seahawks. So the Seahawks got defensive tackle Kentuan Balmer. Now, Balmer had a decent showing as a Seahawk, starting in 11 games, managing 43 tackles, but after that single season, they also gave up on him. Lastly, we have the Carolina Panthers. So the Panthers got safety Colin Jones. And Jones carved out a solid role for himself as a special teams player. His first two years in Carolina saw him record a combined 21 tackles, but 2014 was one of his more productive seasons, as he also earned a pair of starts on the defensive side of the ball. 
he ended the year with a career-high 27 tackles while also breaking up three passes. He also had the only sack and the only forced fumble of his career that year. He recorded the only interception of his career in 2015, and after spending 2016 in a special teams role, he was pushed into a starting job for seven games in 2017. He responded with one interception, two pass breakups, and 23 tackles. Now, he would record one interception with 20 tackles in 2018, but he was released after spending the 2019 season in a special teams role. So this was one of those trades where, I mean, Indianapolis got a decent left tackle for a couple years. Uh, San Francisco clearly wins the trade getting Deshaun Goldson. Great pickup. Carolina had a very good sneaky pickup with Colin Jones. Seattle, meh. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was the Deshaun Goldson trade. Have a good rest of your day.